the first at four. I'm Grant Sweeter. Here's a quick look at today's top stories. Governor Kristi Noem addressed the lack of COVID-19 test supplies during a briefing in Rapid City on Wednesday. The state shared no new positive or negative cases of COVID-19 on Wednesday, but the number of pending cases increased to 350. Noem said those tests are at the state health lab waiting to be processed. She said she expects positive cases to go up. However, she says South Dakota will experience a disruption in supplies to process tests. The Midwest Honor Flight trips in May and June of 2020 have been postponed, according to the Midwest Honor Flight Board of Directors. According to a news release from the Midwest Honor Flight President Aaron Van Beek, the decision comes after the National Honor Flight Network announced that they would be suspending all Honor Flights through April 30th. The South Dakota Labor Department is now accepting unemployment claims from school employees who are not able to work due to COVID-19. If a school worker is not being paid while at home, they may be eligible for unemployment benefits. If a worker is approved, they will not be required to seek work each week while receiving benefits. Find more information on this topic online right now. The upcoming City of Sioux Falls and Sioux Falls School Board elections remain on schedule for Tuesday, April 14th, but voters are encouraged to vote by mail, the city clerk's office announced. According to the city clerk, some polling places will likely change because of COVID-19 concerns and replacement and backup poll workers will be needed. Information on how you can find an absentee ballot can be found in this story on Kelland.com. In a Kelland.com original now online, the state of South Dakota can't test any more people for COVID-19 because of a shortage of tests, the South Dakota Department of Health Laboratory announced Wednesday. The South Dakota Department of Health Laboratory said it was able to run tests for medium and high-risk patients on Monday, March 16th, but the expected additional supplies did not arrive. The agency said there is no time frame for when the supplies will be available from the CDC and commercial suppliers. Scroll down in the first at four story for a look at today's forecast from the Kelland Live Doppler HD Storm Center. That's first at four on this Wednesday afternoon. I'm Grant Sweeter. For the latest updates, download the Kelland News app.